is up you guys so this is going to be a tutorial on how to use a puppet pin tool to create a still image and make it look like it's an actual video so kind of like animating a still image and I got a message receiving how to do this because in the all time low music video it actually has like pictures that look like the audience is not moving but like the singer is so I think it looks pretty cool but it might just be video shot at a really high frame rate and they're just really slowing it down a lot but I think it looks cool if you could just animate a still image to make it look like it's a video so we're gonna go to after effects and I have my still image right here um, it's kind of similar to the all-time low music video because her hands are in the air and I can move her hands. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate our image by pressing Command D. So now we have two pictures. So for the top layer, we want to mask out the image that we want to animate. So you could use the pen tool, you could use Roto Brush tool, you could use Luma Key. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the Roto Brush tool and I already did this so I'm just going to speed it up and yeah this is the final product it's not good at all just doing it kind of sloppy for this tutorial but you you kind of want to make it pretty nice and then you can also feather it a bit so it looks even nicer you can feather it and put the contrast and shift the edge to make it more closer to the middle so go negative side and then reduce the, ch the chatter to 15. So yeah, it looks a little bit more cleaner. Um, still pretty sloppy, but it's fine. So I'm just going to turn off the eye for now um, on our top layer and then work on my second layer. So for this layer, we want to use our clone tool to shift the blueness of the sky to cover up my girl, my friend here. Um, yeah, we just want to shift the color of the sky onto her arms and the outer edge of her body so that when we animate it, we don't see um, her at all. So yeah. Let's use the clone stamp tool and then we're going to press alt so we can sample a bit of the sky. And then we're going to unclick alt and we're going to go to the edge of her body and then we're going to just brush it in. So you can see that it's like making it blue, just like the color of the sky. So you're going to do this all around her body, so yeah, I'm just going to speed this up for you. Um, so you don't need to cover her whole body, you just need to do the edges because we're only really moving the edges. Um, so yeah, I think I'm done. It's pretty sloppy, but in the end it'll look like a cool effect and color correction and all that stuff will kind of make it not as noticeable. So let's turn the eye back on for our top layer and you could tell that our first image covers up uh, most of the body but you could still see some of the blue of the background but yeah we'll cover it up later. Okay so now we can go to our top layer and we can use this pin tool. This is the puppet pin tool and we can pin different parts of her body so that we can move it. So I'll show you how. So I'm just going to pin her hand and then like her shirt, her head and her other hand. Just put it in random places and make sure you're at the beginning of your clip by the way. And so it'll make keyframes at the bottom and, and then you can move the pin around so that it moves like part of her hand or like other places. So let's just go to our end of the clip and we can literally move it around. So we don't want to move it around too much because we want it to look kind of slow like in slow motion. So I'm just going to make very subtle small changes like make her arms move together or her head move a little very very small changes so it makes it automatically makes a keyframe so that it's like a puppet it moves <laughs> so yeah if we watch it back we could see that it sort of moves and it's literally a still image that's actually moving it's so cool right so actually i did pretty good with the clone stamp tool to be honest it's just on the upper right but using color correction you can make it look a little bit better um, I'm going to just do this really quickly, but yeah, you could literally play around with Lumetri color and all the colors to make, um, everything look a little bit more cleaner. But now I'm going to use another new adjustment layer and you can add some light leaks as well. So, um, go to effects and presets and search up, you can search up lens flare and it'll make a sort of flare and you can use it. You can play around with the lens type and you could just adjust the way everything's moving and move the anchor so that it 
moves in different directions. You can keyframe it to the end. But I have optical flares now, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I'm going to use optical flares because I can do a lot more with this. So I'm going to change the on black to over original. So it shows on my clip and I can adjust this to move in different directions like this. Okay, so I added some optical flares. And I also keyframed it to move just a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of optional. You don't really have to do it. I think it looks really nice though. Like it looks it looks super sleek, super cool image. And I like how the sky is purple. But yeah, I also made a tutorial on how to change the color of the sky, by the way. So check that out. Um, but yeah, I think it looks super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you could literally use this in your Instagram photos. I'm going to start using this once I discovered it. Like, I'm like, oh my god, I need to make my still images on Instagram look animated. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos. Oh, you can follow my Instagram also. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.